Ladies and gentlemen, we have a coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth. And let's break it down. Now, the faint full halo coronal mass ejection observed early Thursday following an eruption near center disk has been modeled by NOAA and ISWA by now. And the forecast is calling for a passage past Earth late on Friday, July 22nd into Saturday morning. The solar wind speed is predicted to be quite high, near 800 kilometers per second. And this is because of a coronal hole stream that is going to be coupling hitting us just prior to it and maybe hitting now. And this could jolt our geomagnetic field to the tune of at least minor G1 or G2 geomagnetic storm. Our prediction is KP7, potentially KP8. Now, storm conditions at high latitudes uh, will make Aurora sky watchers very happy because we should see some Aurora going into the low latitudes, maybe even to the States. And that's over the weekend. Peaking on Sunday, just like with any other potential CME passage, we must wait for things to unfold in real time before we get a better idea of the full potential. But we're going to break it down. Here is the coronal mass ejection happening, center disk, directly Earth-facing. This is the halo CME, and if you can see up here a shadow, and then down here a very faint pulse. This is indicative of plasma headed directly towards Earth. Now, it's a small event. It's just a sea flare, but space weather is going to be c continuing to gradually creep up because of a coronal hole stream that is coming. Now, what's the coronal hole stream? It's one of these spiral arms here. In fact, it's that spiral arm out ahead of the eruption that's going to hit first, and then the CME is going to hit. We can look at it a little better here over on the WSA Enlil solar spiral where we can see... The coronal hole stream is this green strip. It's going to hit Earth first, bringing a little plasma speed. And then there is that coronal mass ejection, which is going to hit us early on the 23rd going into through to the 24th. And it will be quite an abrupt shock according uh, to this model. Now, it's because this coronal hole stream is coming at the same time as the CME. And 1 plus 1 does equal 2 in this case. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. Now, the three-day geomagnetic and aurora forecast is as forecast here up to KP6 on the early hours, the first six hours of July 23rd. And we're going to say it's going to get up to KP7 somewhere here on July 23rd. So keep a close eye on that. Now, this is coming after we had a pretty major pop-up after a quiet time here early on Thursday, which is showing this massive burst here into geomagnetic storm. This is when the transformer, exactly when the transformer lit on fire at Hoover Dam. So if you haven't seen that, go check out the video that we did on the Hoover Dam fire as we did connect it directly to the sun. As these are some of the biggest transformers on the planet, they would be the ones to react first and to be affected. And certainly there was something that affected the transformer at Hoover Dam right during this event. And the event that we're coming up into in just about 24 hours should be much more spectacular. We're going to get up to KP6 and 7. And, well, it could be boom time. Hope you got something out of the video. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We're not here to scare you. We're here to give you the facts and prepare you. And that's a boom to knowledge.